welcome to the second part of my two part series about getting a new horse. I'm sorry it's very very windy as you can see, I've got my little notes here. But um, the first half I told you about my tips like of how to know when you're ready to get a horse and in this half I'm going to be um, giving my tips on when you're going to view a horse. Obviously I'm not an expert on the subject but I have viewed a lot of horses in my time. I apologise it's so windy. Jeez oh. But I hope you guys enjoy this video, I'm glad you enjoyed the first half of this mini two-part series and hopefully I will help you guys out a bit. First thing you're going to do when you're looking for a new horse, you want to decide what kind of horse you want to get and you can do that by looking through the websites that horses for sale, looking on social media at other people's horses and also when you go to view them you get like an idea of what kind of horses you enjoyed riding and what kind of horses you didn't enjoy riding. The first thing you want to do is look in the websites obviously. I would recommend Horse Quest which I will put in this corner here, I'll show you the website. Um, that is where I found Clyde by putting the wanted ad up of the exact things I wanted for my, like the exact kind of pony I wanted and Clyde is exactly what I wanted. It was so lucky that it just we put it up at the right time and the owner found the ad which was brilliant and it just worked out really well for us but obviously it's not like that all the time and you can filter the results so that you can just see the kind of horse you would like instead of spending ages scrolling through horses that you know you don't like and once you've found a horse you like obviously you need to contact the owner and my mum has very kindly written me a list of stuff of things you want to ask when you're talking to the owner over over your phone um, before you go and see the horse to make sure it's perfect because obviously sometimes you have to travel very far to see the horse and you don't want to be travelling far and then having a failed trip. So the first thing is you want to know their age and their breed which is just kind of basics because you want to know a bit about the horse. You want to know if they're registered or not and you also want to know if they have a passport because obviously it's quite important they have a passport most of the time. You want to know if they're wormed and vaccinated. You want to know, you want to ask if they're shod or not, like if they've got shoes on. You want to know if tack is included because obviously tack is quite expensive and sometimes when you buy a horse they include the tack in the sale but sometimes they don't. What kind of bit is it ridden in? Because obviously sometimes um, if a horse is ridden in a very strong bit it can indicate that maybe it's quite uncontrollable in a snaffle but obviously that is not the case all the time but occasionally it is. Can it travel in a trailer or a lorry? Obviously if you want to go competing with your horse you need to make sure that it's good travelling because some horses do not like travelling at all and they can be really silly in the trailer or the lorry so you need to know that. And also sometimes horses will be good travelling in a trailer but not in a lorry so you need to make sure that. Does it hack out alone and in company? Most horses will hack out in company but obviously some of them be, can be quite um, kind of grumpy around other horses and then a lot of horses don't like hacking out alone but you want to make sure they can so that you can go out a hack without your friends sometimes. Um, you want to ask if it's good in traffic. If you're riding on a road a lot you need a horse that is good in traffic and you need to make sure of that and you just need to ask the owner that. Um, you need to ask if it's spooky. Obviously some people are fine with spooky horses but if you're more of a novice especially if it's your horse horse maybe you don't want a very spooky horse. Is it currently being ridden regularly? Lots of people when they're selling their horses have not ridden them in months and you want to know if they're being ridden regularly because if you buy them you are probably going to be riding them a lot but if you're not it's fine but sometimes you are and if they're not used to that sometimes they might be a bit silly. How, how is it away from home? Lots of horses are a bit silly at competitions and if you're out competing a, a lot you want a horse that's going to be well behaved at competitions and isn't being silly or crazy. Um, is it used to being at shows? Some horses you'll see have never been to a show before, some horses you'll see have been to loads of shows, that's something you might want to ask. What success has it had to date? You want to know its competition record, obviously a lot of people don't want a competition record for their horse but some people do. Um, what is the price? One of the most important things obviously because sometimes you need to set yourself kind of a budget at the start, obviously you could go a wee bit over that or 
obviously you can go less than that but you do want to have some sort of budget at the start is it open to vet so like is it good to vet and um because you don't want it being silly and running in circles will there be you need to ask before you view it will there be someone to show it ridden on viewing because you definitely want to see the horse being ridden when you're viewing it because it's obviously a lot of horses are unpredictable you do not want to arrive and then go straight in that horse without seeing someone else riding it because you don't know there are some liars in the market you do not want to be sitting on a dangerous horse because you haven't seen someone else ride it you want to get lots of pictures and lots of videos as well especially videos you can't tell that much from a picture but you can tell a lot from a video so make sure you get lots of videos before you actually go and see the horse um you're gonna you should do some background research on social media so you can search up its name obviously a lot of horses will come up that is the list of things that i would recommend or my mum would recommend especially um doing before you go and view a horse i think they're pretty good tips reading them now but if we've missed anything out please comment them below so now you've asked all these questions the horse seems perfect and you're on your way to view it so when you arrive you want to make sure that everything seems right sometimes you arrive and unfortunately you see that it's just not going to work out i've arrived before and they've we arrived early once and they were galloping their horse full pelt round the um arena to tire it out before we got there so i would also yeah i would recommend going early and arriving early because sometimes you can catch things like that that you wouldn't have seen if you'd come late so always make sure you're early or at least on time you want to be able to lead the horse in from the field you do not want obviously that's not possible sometimes but you want to check that it's good and you also want to see it be ta being tacked up you don't want them to already have tacked it up because you want to see their manners and um if they've already tacked it up you want to ask um like if you can untack it so that you can see what's happen happening because obviously sometimes they'll already be tacked up for you which is fine once you've had seen it ridden ridden it you want to ask to untack it then um once you're seeing it ridden you obviously you want to ask them to do all the paces maybe um you want well yeah you, most of the time you would want to ask to see it do a proper wee jump it doesn't need to be anything big obviously if it doesn't jump that's not possible but if it jumps you definitely want to see it being jumped and then if you feel it's safe to get on you will get on make sure you ask any any questions at all that you want to ask because you don't want to miss out anything so that's you viewed the horse and it all seems good but you you want to buy it now but it's not over yet because you need to get it vetted getting it vetted is really important i would have a different horse right now if we didn't get our horses vetted before we bought them because i was meant to be getting another fell pony called cassie and um we were just about to buy her and when we were getting her vetted she trotted up lame and the vet didn't know whether it was just her being lame or maybe it was something more obviously we weren't going to risk anything so we ended up not getting her and we've ended up with Clyde who has turned out perfect obviously and in my opinion he's just he probably worked out better than Cassie in the end because he was a much better jumper in my opinion but that's just how it worked out Clyde um, passed the vetting obviously you don't need to get a five star vetting because that's really expensive you can even get I think it's a three star one star or something like that but there's like five stages and it's a lot of money to get a five star but you definitely want to get some sort of vetting obviously um you want someone you want the vet there and you want someone uh professional like an instructor or like a horsey parent there to make sure the vetting's going right and you may need to make sure you get a vet that is not from the area where like not I don't know, it's like not too close to where the horse is being sold because if you say got a vet that was friends with the uh, owner of the horse, I know this doesn't happen a, a lot obviously, vets are very trusting but maybe if they were friends with that person they might pass the vet and so they could sell their horse even if it's not ready, even if it's not um, suitable to pass a vetting. So make sure you get a vet that the person wouldn't um, probably wouldn't be friends with. But that is basically all I've got to say, I think. Good luck with your new ponies, anyone getting one. Obviously you can't go and view ponies at the moment. But
but when you are I hope this has helped a bit if I missed anything out please comment it below I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and I'll see you in Sunday's one bye